the belt of truth given by God is about welcoming the Holy Spirit into our lives because He is the Spirit of truth that sets us free from all the lies and deceptions of the devil that's out there. The devil started with deception in the Garden of Eden by deceiving Eve uh, from the truth and she fell into sin and into death as a result of believing the lie of the devil. And through the belt of truth, through the Holy Spirit, we can now have His truth that sets us free, His light, His wisdom, knowledge, understanding and revelation that will transform us to be like Jesus because Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Hi, welcome to the Full Armor of God teaching series that is based on my book, Fully Armed Grasshoppers. So today we are going to look at the breastplate of righteousness. Now in this topic of righteousness, we will first look at the essence of righteousness. Righteousness has to do with our identity, position and standing with God. My simple definition of righteousness is being in right standing with God. The righteousness we are talking about is a relationship-based righteousness. The New Testament concept of righteousness through Christ is not based on simply fulfilling a set of legal requirements, but on a healthy relationship with the Lord who is the imputer of righteousness. He's called Yahweh Sikeno in the Old Testament. Jesus said to those that he rejected, I do not know you. So it's based on relationship. It's not based, he didn't say, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. He said, I didn't know you. The key is knowing God. It is like when we have a good relationship with our earthly father and he sees us as good enough even when we still have our weaknesses and failings. What is more important to Him is our willingness to admit and repent of our wrongdoings and a strong level and trust and love for each other. Righteousness is also about regaining our identity. With the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, mankind lost his identity, the image of God, and his self-worth or self-esteem as some would call it. This is one of the root causes of our society's social and psychological ills and has resulted in the myriads of emotional problems we see today such as feelings of insecurity, fear, inferiority, hopelessness and even depression. Man has tried replacing their God-given identity and self-worth with earthly alternatives such as career, status, in society, fanciful cars, houses, human relationships, sex, and even religion. All efforts of man to build positive self-image and confidences, confidence are like the fig leaves that Adam and Eve used to cover their shame. Do we need to be holy to worship God? In the new covenant, wherein Christ has ripped apart the curtain that separates us from the Holy of Holies, we can now approach God and worship Him as we are, without first being holy as in the Old Testament. As we worship Him and see Him as He is, we will be transformed from glory to glory into His very image, the image of Christ, as found in 1 John 3 verse 2. Righteousness it's about restoring confidence back into your life. The breastplate of righteousness deals with all our guilt and condemnation that results from sin and gives us the confidence that God is with us and has forgiven us. We can come to Him just as we are with all our hang-ups and idiosyncrasies and don't have to be, try to be someone else as we relate to our Heavenly Father, loving Him and receiving His love, the Holy Spirit begins that transformation process in us like 
the butterfly in the cocoon, the caterpillar in the cocoon that becomes a butterfly, that undergoes metamorphosis, this change, this transformation. Begin to exercise the authority and dominion as kings and priests, priests, sons and daughters of God, seated with Him in heavenly places. God has given us all the power over the enemy, as stated in Luke 10 verse 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We can have the confidence that we have this authority and power. Forgiveness is crucial in having righteousness. As we put on the breastplate of righteousness, we are also reminded to forgive those who have sinned against us. It is only as we forgive others that we can have God's forgiveness and grace upon our lives. Mark 11, 25 to 26 puts it succinctly, And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. And if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. As we end this session on the breastplate of righteousness, let's do this spiritual exercise that we normally do for each session. And uh, we begin by placing your hand on your chest, symbolizing the breastplate of righteousness. Come to Him through the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all sin. This spiritual exercise will help you enter God's presence and worship Him with renewed confidence. Confess your sins and forgive those who have hurt you or sinned against you. Renounce all guilt and condemnation associated with your past sins and mistakes, as well as any negative emotions such as bitterness, resentment, anger or hatred. Invite the Holy Spirit to create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. Thank the Lord that you have His righteousness imputed to you through the finished work of Jesus on Calvary. Thank the Lord that you are accepted as you are and have become His precious son and daughter. Thank the Lord that you have His special favour upon your life, enabling you to be fruitful and blessed in all you do, as found in Psalm 1 verse 3. And then finally, picture yourself seated with Jesus in heavenly places, reigning with Him as a son and daughter or king and priest, and continue praising and worshipping Him through the breastplate of righteousness. May God bless you through this teaching. 